Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. Oh, yeah, And uh, buddy. we are playing the, uh, wait, wait, I got this, uh, <laughs> Quad Adventure Last Human. Yeah, that, that's all, exactly all right. Uh, so, yeah, um, so we're in a creepy place. That's a, that's a tree. That's a, that's a willow. That's a sea willow. It is kind of like a sea willow. I also, like while we were off screen, I just kind of like left the game sitting while we took a quick walk around. And uh, these little black particles, out of, like they generating out of the coral, I don't even know, they, uh, they were damaging me. It was like, I didn't even, like... That is there, that is one of the problems about the game. You don't know exactly what every time you run across a fish, I'm like, ah, oh, it, right. I feel like it is very subtle sometimes about what can damage you. Oh, I need the what did you just torpedo get hurt by? More of those black particles. Where? Right here. Oh, what the? I know. See what, what I mean? That's not cool. Yeah, I, I think there are multiple times where it could have been a lot, a lot more clear, like that. Like that will definitely damage. Me. I mean, that was kind of unfair. I feel like they should have tutorial design in general. When you want to reveal a new threat to your player, you should show them from a distance what the thing is that can hurt them. Like what the? Whoa, was I? <laughs> You're having a lot right. of struggles with that I'm, microphone I'm today. Shut up! I'm really <laughs> excited. So right, you want you want to let them know, like you want to show them, like maybe off screen, and as they show up, the rock falls, and they're like, "Aha! There's falling rocks. Got to watch out for that." That way, once they run into a falling rock, you can be like, "That's your fault. I showed you." So my only counter argument to that, that, my only counter argument to that, real quick, yeah, is that um, I think that they showed us those falling rocks in a safe environment. So even had we gotten hit, we wouldn't have died, and we would have still had time to replenish our health. So yes, I, I but think you have to like sit there. Then like, that's what I wanted to talk about. That you bring it up. Okay, so like, there's that replenishing over time mechanic, right? What is happening? Oh, oh, yeah. that was beautiful. This this boss is amazing, and it's called the false light, which is like incredibly ominous. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh I, no 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 no. I, I no no no. Think... Anglerfish just scare the hell out of me. Yeah, no, I think this is probably oh. my favorite boss battle out of this game. That is so cool. Oh Oh he Off to bit a you on the side. start. Oh man. But yeah, that's the thing, is like yeah, there's that health regeneration, but because of that mechanic the way it is, if Ooh. you like it go from one area to the next area, you're inclined to sit and just look at the screen waiting for your ship to heal up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's true. I, I think maybe there would be enough time to where it would replenish before you start the boss battle, but I agree. I think most players would be yeah. like, well, I'll just sit and wait while my health regenerates. Yeah, because it's like, oh. oh. That was, this is where it gets tough. That was not false Oh, life. God, oh, God, that oh, was God. Real life. Oh. oh, because all the fish are getting attracted to it. Yep. Oh. Yeah, this awesome. is, I think this is their best designed boss in the entire no game. Joke. It's, it is incredibly, like, stylistically speaking, it's perfect. Uh, mechanically speaking, it's got very interesting challenges going on. Um, and even, like, trying to dodge it before it, like, jumps out and bites is interesting. He looks so creepy. He looks so cool. Mechanically, he feels great. At first, I was like, yeah, there's not a whole lot to this. And then the attracting fish thing and stuff. Man, that's really cool. It is really cool. It's... You know what they could... There's one addition that they could have done with this. Hmm. That, I, that I, at least I don't think is on because you're almost done. Like, you're getting there to be done with the fight. Is that... Um, anglerfish. Like, what you're fighting right now is a female anglerfish. Yes. Have you ever seen a male anglerfish? They're tiny and disgusting. Tiny and disgusting. And they attach onto the anglerfish. And she absorbs them. And they but... become her part of her genitalia they they become basically nut sacks on her body yes it's kind of horrifying if you thought anglerfish were disgusting and terrible before they're worse than you thought <laughs> uh and so maybe those like little fish coming toward it are are it but i i doubt it I no feel like it looks like food. yeah it looks like she's eating them so Ooh. so that being said like there's one additional i'm not saying that you have to fight her her ball sack but, <laughs> like you know like if if, if at some point little Fish comments like Draw. little babies pop out of her. Ooh, like how she just kind of melts too after you destroy her. Ah, oh, that is cool. Oh. wait, did you kill her? Yep, and we got a lamp. So that was the whole point okay. of us going here. We get the lamp from say, her little. I feel like the bosses have been 
disappearing or like running away. Am I incorrect? No, they they basically right. like break what down into uh, a little piece of carnage. Get it, get it, get it. This this is I don't think saw it, saw saw. I don't think we already got the lamp out. Where of does it. it go? Down into no, the no, no, lava. No, no, no. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Okay, okay. I mean. It's just gonna like sw sink past it, isn't it? By the way, I'm yeah, very happy we switched to keyboard and mouse because, <laughs> like, I was embarrassed for how badly I was failing with, like, especially the tranquil, right? But like, I think that this boss was more challenging than the tranquil, and we did better. I, yeah, I did better, I guess. It, you made it look like a joke. It I, when I not first, a joke. When I first it's played just... the false light, I actually did have a, a pretty hard time because um, it's not easy, right? There's I, a lot of um, bait and switch, like go with uh, with this game when it comes to the bosses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's like partly hunter and predator kind of thing. Huh. I think that's partly or why um, prey it, hunter prey. It. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It rewards you for doing the like spam attacks, mm. um, and it's hard, right? Because like when I don't charge this. These these harpoons don't go very don't far. Go very far. Um, so early game, you have to be really really close up to the enemies in order to damage them with that. Um, Real quick, if you have the cursor above your ship and you shoot, how, does it just shoot next? Like side? yeah, see see that dotted line? It stops where uh, the trajectory. Okay, will so go. it's still gonna shoot though at least. Yeah yeah. So there there have been other games I played that have done something similar to that, except for when your cursor went out of the uh, zone. Like instead, the cursor just disappeared, or you couldn't shoot, and it that's... was it was sticky and frustrating, and you could never tell where your cursor was half the time. Yeah, so that's that regard, bad UI design. Wait, go in back my to opinion. that thing. What was that thing? Was that a just this like a piece of no, no the, the glow? Is that a dead English? Oh fish? no, this no. is. I think these are all like random mechanical parts, or like maybe other submarines. I mean, they look kind of like degraded mechanical stuff because it's kind of grayish, and it, it looks like they were setting up a. Oh, like a light. Ooh. Yeah, I agree. I, I feel like... Um, I don't know. Maybe it was for some sort of like operation down here. Hmm. Um, but I... Going back to the, the cursor disappearing, I think that's just bad UI design because... Yeah, like, how is the player going to know where their cursor is until they, like, it's fling terrible. it all the way down, and at that point, like... You're getting hit by a crab. I mean, yeah, terrible. exactly. No, so, in other words, I'm, I'm glad that they did did it that way. Yeah, I think I think their their portrayal of it, too, is really smart, because it's very clear where it's going to be at all times. Especially, like, if you notice, as it's charging, it adds more dots. So it even gives you a sense of range. Um, yeah. And it's not perfect, right? Because, obviously, like... It scales with how far out my cursor is, and the actual torpedoes. It doesn't matter how far my cursor. Yeah, out, like you out. cannot shoot as far as your cursor can go. Yeah, exactly. Um, but that's okay. I think it still tells, gives me enough information to where I can make a rough estimate. Especially because, you know, I'm shooting so often, it it becomes kind of intuitive. Yeah. Um, what your actual range is going to be. So good on on these guys for their good UI design at the very least. Yeah, I think my only gripe in the UI is just the mini-map. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's just about everyone's, like, main gripe. Because the rest of the game, like, I think the level design is oftentimes a little arbitrary. Like, it feels like not much is happening, and there are just things in random spots that aren't really, like... Kind of feels like filler for a pretty environment. Yeah, yeah. And like so so far I think early game it's actually not as bad. I think it's actually mid game where it starts feeling a little like tedious. Tedious. Yeah, that's a good word good word for it. Um actually, I guess I probably should have just fast traveled. Now that I think That whole it. thing that I've been talking about that I can do occasionally. Yeah, I mean at least that like it means that we can't really gripe on wasting a lot of time going back and forth. And not that, like, it's the worst thing in the world anyway, because the, the world or the map in general is... It's not huge. Um, Just get hit by all of them. I mean, to be fair, I'm probably not going to die. Not at this point. But to those things, at least. Hmm. I think. I'm gonna eat my words at some point, but... Oh, it's gonna be great. Was that a crashed plane in the ground? Uh, probably... 
Yeah, it is. It totally is. That's I, funny. I really like their, their like, random little art assets that kind of, like, give you a sense of, like, what the, the old world. world. before. Yeah. That's actually probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite part about the game as a whole. It, it does a really good job, too, at kind of giving the, you the sense that, like, this world didn't used to always be submerged in water. And obviously it's Earth, right? So, like... Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lot of things that you would normally find on land, like a McDonald's. And uh, as we go into District 7, we see how they kind of adapted to the change of environment and made, you know, point. underwater, uh, uh, like, self-contained environments, C-Lab I guess. C-Lab 2020 style. It is very C-Lab 2020 style. But yeah, I, I think the art does a really good job at kind of telling us a story. I thought that's where I needed to go. Oh, there's still this room you to the left. You don't got no missiles. I want the torpedoes so bad. They're so good. Torpedoes and boost. That's all I want. Those two, I think, are really what makes the game, like, feel the most amazing. This place is so creepy. Facility. So now we should be able to go... Oh, no, I need the drone. Damn it. The drone. Ah, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. shadow. What the hell is he talking to? Is he talking to something? Is that a thing? That's It's a little drone. And what it's is like, that thing? I don't know. Some other kind of sentry or drone? It's really hard to tell. Well, I mean, unfortunately, we're going to have to find out later. Well, we won't actually find out until much later, because this is the final area past these gates. Ah. So that little sequence was kind of like... Uh, I guess maybe like an anticipation or maybe like a foreshadow? Not a foreshadow, but like it's like a... This is a big thing, and obviously yeah. you need a thing to get through here. Um, so yeah, it's it's a good way to tell us like there's something important past these walls. He's the gatekeeper. You need the keymaster. Exactly. Uh, so question of the day: What other good examples do you know of a boss that was thematically done that well? Ooh. They took a creature. And they said, all right, we're going to use all parts or most parts that we can think of for this type of creature. And we're going to use that for the boss. It was for me, it was really cool until all of a sudden it was attracting fish to it. And then it was awesome. Um, And so, like, you know, what are other good examples of them, like, taking something, anything and making it thematically that interesting and well designed in in other games? Right. Yeah. yeah, In other games. Yeah. And but like also explain, like, why, why it, it felt so like tight and, and, and well done. Yeah. For the record, the question is not did you think that was thematically awesome? Because it was. <laughs> Fight me. Fight me in my life. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh press the F button. F key. F key to close window. I don't know. Whatever I've been trying to say this whole time. <laughs> I never get it right. <laughs> See you guys.